Today we're going to be taking a little flight around Melbourne City with a new Landmarks pack releasing from Orbex on the 10th of June. And I've got to say I've had a little look for myself already and it looks absolutely stunning. Um, just to give you an idea of where we are in the world, well obviously Australia and Melbourne, but here is Flemington Racecourse. It's not a land, it's not a you know, an airstrip or anything, I just put myself on the ground here, somewhere close by, obviously we're just going to take off and do a little tour. Um, I'm not in VR today because I really want to showcase this one because it looks beautiful and I know a VR can be a little uncomfortable. Let's just get going. Now... Obviously, uh, Melbourne is already photogrammetry, and uh, it already looked amazing. But this pack, coming out, as I say, on the 10th, adds more than 200 custom buildings and structures, uh, detailed representation of the port and industrial areas, helipads on rooftops and in the river, uh, animated hot air balloons on clear mornings. It's even got an animated metro trains on the viaduct. Um, lots and lots of enhancements and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. So we'll just try and get a little bit of altitude because obviously uh, photogrammetry doesn't look great too close up when you're actually uh, right in the face of it. But already, look, I mean, this it, it does look amazing. It looked amazing anyway, but the details that have been added. Yeah, custom night lighting based on real-world photography. Many enhancements to the city and surrounding areas. Improved vegetation and building placements, marinas, tall power line towers, etc. Look at this. Now obviously this, as I always say, this is a great aircraft showing off scenery and it obviously is great in VR but it's slow as anything, that's why I purposely made sure I was just somewhere already in the thick of it. Maybe we'll see the uh, the metro running, I don't know. I've not seen that myself yet. Look at it. Then of course I've got this early, thank you Orbex uh, for giving me it to have a look myself and do a little showcase of it. But, as always, my thoughts on my own and really this uh, the scenery speaks for itself, doesn't it? Look at it, hot air balloons over there. Uh, weather settings just for this, I've just put a light clouds preset and uh, in the morning, sometime in the morning. Wow. Yeah, I mean, originally I was going to do this video with my Pico Neo. Obviously I will be doing more videos with that. But uh, that's got a big update coming soon, so any videos now really will be a bit redundant very quickly. Um, and as I say, this this I just wanted to show just how great this looks, and uh, for me in VR it looks amazing. But as a viewer, I know it's it's not always the best. It's, it's pretty cool to see hot air balloons up over there. All sims should have hot air balloons. We know a lot of racing sims do. It's a sign of a true sim. Stadium down here. I can even read that, can I? Just about. Marvel Stadium. Keep your eye open for helipads. I'm not going to tour every point of interest. I just want to give a general look. 
let's, let's get over the river a little bit. Trying to keep movement smooth. It really is an awesome bit of scenery, and really just Australia and New Zealand together are just phenomenal. You know, obviously they're this huge country, but it's not so vast as say the USA, you know, North America, and that it's got a lot of stuff packed together scenery-wise. It's good for touring around without needing months on end. I find myself in New Zealand a lot because uh, there are a lot of sceneries available, and you can quite easily hop from one to the other that makes sense look at this <laughs> cool is that the tennis courts a swimming pool down there no sorry swimming pool like the main court down there covered court there that's awesome I don't know what this arena, this stadium here is at all. So yeah, I mean, let's have a look. Let's try and find this viaduct. I'm not sure exactly where it is. Is it on here? said it's between Flinders and Southern Cross stations well, obviously I don't know where any of that is so that's not much use to me that's Melbourne Cricket Ground she got more all the way down here POIs but a lot of the POIs are, are not from this add-on um, this, you know, obviously this was part of World Update 7. It's got points of interest added anyway, but this adds 200 odd more. I wonder if you can hit the hot air balloons. The detail is quite exquisite. Of course this would be great for a helicopter flight because there's a lot of things to look at down there amazing it does say the hot air balloons are there on mornings with clear weather and I did I had it on real weather before and indeed the uh, the hot air balloons were gone it wasn't it wasn't clear out at all and it wasn't just a case you couldn't see them because they were hidden in the cloud I think they just weren't there I don't think they, they spawned in at all uh, I should have done a bit more research I don't exactly know <laughs> where this viaduct is to see the metro but no matter I mean is that it because, um, you know, you want to see things for yourself. Don't need to spoil it all. Right, it's only a short video, really. Let's put on some night lighting. Okay, here we go. So as it, it says, custom night lighting based on real world photography. Don't believe the uh, Ferris wheel goes round. But <laughs> well, that that one slide. Let's turn around and look at the video, the city, uh, the city proper. Oh, the uh, 
The bridge looks awesome. Look at that. There we go. It's the signs on the buildings. Medibank. AMP, very cool, very cool, look at this, and the hot air balloons are indeed gone, get myself disorientated here, right, let's get back to facing forward, Um, I mean, that's it, really. I know <laughs> this isn't a very professionally put together video, is it? But uh, it's still done. I just wanted to show it, really. I don't want to spend um, you know, a million or one hours editing a video together. Um, when all you've got to do is look at this and, and see for yourself what awesome draw ball backs have done here and make your own mind up. And of course, if you live in the area, you frequently fly the area, then it's worth it for you, pretty much as always. And if it's somewhere you never bother with, then obviously <laughs> take it or leave it. Just going to fly. What's flying towards this big uh, stadium here, which I assume. Uh, is Melbourne Cricket Ground? I don't really know, but I assume it must be. Now, with a lot of practice, it would be possible to land this thing in there. It can be done, I'm sure. This thing can land very quickly. Um, and with flaps you can fly really, really slowly. Uh, in fact no, this thing does this thing have flaps or am I thinking of the uh the other the other power solo by VGP. Let's try it. I'm just going to try it. I don't expect this to work at all. Melbourne Approach Jet 1550 is passing 6,600 feet, descending 3,000 feet. Jet 1550 Melbourne Approach Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 continue as planned. Uh, should we just try and circle down? At some point we're just going to drop. I feel like it's not impossible. Oh my god! Oh no, no fair! I'd beautifully done that! <laughs> That's not fair! Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Should be here. <laughs> Right, okay, anyway, there we have it. So, quick showcase of how awesome Melbourne from Orbex coming out the 10th of June looks. Any comments or questions, drop below and I'll try and answer. But otherwise, that'll do it, and I'll catch you later. Cheers.